The move by the House of Representatives to push the Petroleum Industry Bill, PIB, on Thursday created fresh controversy as members raised some objections which bothered on the standard and proceedings of the bill. The drama unfolded when Honorable Tainang raised a point of order on the standard report on the bill, pointing out that it did not meet the set standard for a bill to be considered in the House. The report we have here does not accord with the least standard of preparing reports for consideration on the floor of this House. Mr. Speaker, I'm very sorry. In the standard of preparing report on a bill, you will, on the first column, on the first column here, where we have clause, set out the provisions of the Act that you intend to amend. Wait. That you intend to amend or repeal. You set out the provisions of that Act here. What is which rule? Now, in the second column, you will set out the provisions of the bill itself. In the third column, you will set out the recommendations of the committee, whether you, you accept the provisions of the, the proposed amendments or otherwise. Because if we are repealing an act and re-enacting, then the provisions of the act that we are repealing should be set out on here. So therefore, I plead that I'm saying so because no. the, this report is not in accord at all with the standard no. of what we should consider no. and it should be reworked. Thank you, sir. However, members would have none of this as many express frustration with the sustained controversy on the bill. Look at the volume where it is, how it is. If you not do it in the way on the military who have had this document since before we went for elections. If you do it before, in the way you're talking about, it will be bigger than four or five volumes of that, of that, uh, uh, of what you're talking about. Mr. Tana should not be dismissed. He has had this document for so long a time that any way he wanted it to be done, it could have been done. Plus one we are talking about here, we have already considered plus one. Why is he not saying? Ena is the chairman of the House of the, the House of the Chief Justice and Rules. He scheduled it for first reading. He scheduled it for second reading before we referred it to the committee. Ena knew and he saw that there was no reference to if any existing existing law. So I'm surprised that at this time that he is bringing this this uh, observation. It is very unfortunate. And I believe that we should condemn that act and go ahead and continue the consideration of this. Now, it is such a surprise to me that the finance come around to say that the bill was not presented. Remember, as of yesterday, as of yesterday, Mr. Honorable Dainan told us that he printed, Honorable Dainan said he printed 900 copies of this bill. Now, if he printed 900 copies, I couldn't dictate between the time this bill has been with him and now that it was not the proper form. Assuming we agree now that he should go and reprint in the proper format, the question now is wouldn't it amount to a waste of public funds? I am of the view that we should go ahead with the consideration of this bill today. The House eventually went through only eight out of 406 clauses of the legislation. Many are of the view that working this bill can only be completed when new lawmakers resume in June. Rachel Orr for ITI.